Sure do. In Delaware County, a teen and a police officer, they're being called heroes for helping save three kids who fell through an ice-covered pond. Let's get out to Shana with the officer this morning. Hi, Shana. Hi there. Good morning. Yes, certainly a happy ending to this story. You know, we report on horrible things all the time. So to see a story about three kids that were drowning in a pond, basically not thinking that they were going to make it out and to have them be rescued by a good Samaritan and this great officer next to me is just wonderful. Sergeant Kilroy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. So walk me through it because I know that you got to the scene right after um, the 16 year old pulled out the first two kids. Walk me through what, what you did and how it all came about. Uh, well, we were dispatched to a drowning just before 3 p.m. Uh, I was about 30 seconds away, so I came right here to the park. As I was going down the hill towards the pond, um, I could see the young man, the Anthony, I think, was, was taking uh, the two kids out of the water, and then the young lady was still out in the middle of the water. Um, so as he was, I guess, at the bank of the, of the pond, I just told him, you can come out, and then just I walked right in and swam out to her. Was it was it scary at all for you? I know it's it's about eight feet deep, and I'm sure you have some ability to swim. But like being in there yourself, it's really really cold. I mean, what went through your head as you were going out there to get this last child? Just I mean, my focus was on her, about making sure that she was staying above water and able to maintain her head above the water, and then and getting out to her. Um, I'm able to swim enough, and being from the area, I knew the depth of the water and where at what points I could get to. So uh, my my focus was on her, getting her out quickly, and then and getting everybody warm and out of the out of the cold. Now, when, when he walked up to us, I said, Sergeant Kilroy, the, the hero, he said, no, he's not. He's very humble. Um, but I'm sure these parents are thanking your quick and swift actions. What um, is your message for a lot of people that live in this area? Maybe they don't live in this area that see the pond. Maybe we may get um, some freezing uh, win winter weather again and it may freeze over. What's your message to those that may see a nice over pond and think maybe I can go and hang out on that? Right. Yeah, I'm a parent, too. So I mean, I talked to my kids about it last night and I hope all the parents are out there just that educating their children. Um, it's, it's dangerous. Don't go out on icy waters. Uh, no matter what you think the depth might be and whether or not it can hold you. Um, obviously, yesterday was could have been a, a lot worse of a situation and we could be having a different conversation. So the parents, we hope they have the same conversation with their kids and just stay off the ice, stay off the water in general. I mean, at any time of the year, it's, it can always be dangerous, especially if you don't know the what's underneath. And you didn't work alone, of course. You wanted to chat with the 16-year-old that was here. But how, how, I mean, how, do you, how good do you feel that, you know, you also had um, some good Samaritan help? There's good people out there that came in and stepped in and saved the day. Too. Yeah, that, that was awesome. I mean, he's the true hero in this situation. I, I expect myself to have to do this if, if, if the, uh, the call comes. And uh, he didn't have to, but he did because he knew it was the right thing to do. Uh, and he was, he was right there right away. So it was, it was awesome. Very good. Sergeant Kilroy, I'm sure the parents are so grateful to you. We're grateful to you. Thank you for what you did, uh, stepping in like that, and just such a great ending to a story that could have been far worse than what it was. Guys? It really is amazing. I know we always say it's never routine, as you can say, it's never routine. Has he ever been trained for anything like this, and has he done anything like this before, Shana? They want to know if you've ever been, uh, if you have, have you ever done something like this? Have you been trained to do something like this? Or was this the first time for you getting in a pond and, and saving a child? Walk me through your experience with this. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm a volunteer firefighter here in Collingdale uh, as and a paramedic. I don't have any water rescue training or ice rescue training. Um, I, I know how to swim and I, I knew my, my abilities. So I knew I could get out there and do what I needed to do. But <laughs> there you have it. There he, 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 was, he was the right guy for the right time. Definitely. Yes, he was. Has he been in touch with the family since or the update on the kids? Everybody's fine. Is there going to be a little reunion? So walk me through. Have you been in touch with the family at all? Um, is there going to be a reunion? What do you know about the kids? Uh, nothing much yet. Um, obviously, they went to the hospital. I went down and got checked out. Um, I, I had some responsibilities back at the police station before I left last night, but uh, hopefully I'll get in touch with them the, in the very short future and, and we can all see each other and make sure they're good. Oh, they Sounds good, but they were okay at last check and they were taken to a hospital, which is great. Yes, he went right back to work. He really did, He had yeah. stuff to do. Hopefully Thank you so much. Hopefully got a special hero honor, special mm -hmm. meal at least. Shana, we appreciate it, and certainly thanks to the officer. We'll be back right after this. Great.